Right, this is a video for a Toyota Corolla Verso. Uh, this is the 2 litre diesel SR version. The car's 2008 uh, with only 58,900 miles on the clock. Uh, car benefits from a full service history with seven recorded services. It's just been serviced and just had a very recent MOT placed on the vehicle. Uh, that MOT showed no advisories whatsoever on the car. I'll just have a quick look around the car for you. The car, unfortunately this morning, is a little bit damp still, so um, I apologise for that. But the exterior is in very, very nice condition. See down the flanks there, there's no major dents or ripples on there. Front alloy on the offside here is unmarked. Yeah, there's no curbing on that at all, and the tyre is very, very good indeed. Into the offside rear wheel. Again, alloys unmarked, and the tyre is very, very good. Tons of tread on there. But a couple of these cars, and I must admit, they, uh, they're very, very quiet. Um, the diesel engine is superb in these cars. It gives them incredibly good uh, their performance and economy. Let's go down the, the near side here, again on the flanks. It's a very clean, crisp flank there. It's the near side rear wheel and tyre. Tyres in, again, lovely condition. Absolutely loads of tread, and the alloy, again, is unmarked. There will be the odd tiny little mark somewhere on the car. I mean, it's uh, still kind of a seven, eight year old car at the end of the day, but there's very, very few. And again, this near side front wheel is very good. No marks on it, and the tyre again in very good order. So, coming into the boot area of the car, this shows the rear two seats obviously in their down position. This then offers a very good um, and big boot area. Uh, it's a lovely design on these. Um, it has to be pointed out that the Toyota, probably like the Honda FRV, is a really genuinely beautifully built car. Um, the interiors stand up incredibly well, much better than things like the Zafira and the VW Touran. Um, to raise the seats, all you do is literally just pull these tabs pull that back up and then lift the seat up, it's ever so easy, obviously with one hand it's rather difficult. So coming into the back, this gives you the access to the rear most seat. It's just a simple case of pulling the tab on top of the seat here. The seat just slides back and then just goes back into whichever position you actually wanted to go into. So rear door card here, uh, lovely condition. The Rear seats on the car in absolutely fabulous condition. There's not a mark on them. Um, very, very, very rare to see a people carrier um, in such good condition in the back. I mean, they are designed for purpose, and that's obviously to carry a lot of people. And generally speaking, that means kids. Um, so a lot of these Versos um, can take a bit of a battering on the inside, um, just by nature, the nature of what they're designed to do. This one inside is really, really lovely. So coming to the front here, we've got the driver's door card. Again, really lovely condition. Um, we've got the electric window switches up on here. Car benefits on a full set of original Toyota interior mats. Driver's seat, bolster there, absolutely perfect. And the seat trim, again, is really lovely condition. A real testament to how the People have looked after this car, and again, passenger seat there as well. It's absolutely fantastic condition. All right, coming to the interior, um, engine's running as I do this. You got a couple of little extra cubby holes in here, one on the top, and then one oops, there's it, on there. And obviously, a nice glove box in there, and inside you can see you've got the lock and wheel nuts and a full owner's manual pack in the car. Coming across to the centre here, got a centre storage area with cup holders, ashtray, and a big storage bin in the middle there. 
Um, six speed manual gearbox, uh, really helps with the economy of the car. And the Gishif Gator is in lovely condition. You've got a dual zone climate control system on the car, and a really nice quality stereo there. Let's pop it on. Out on Show it's all today. working. Coming across here, we've got a multifunction steering wheel with um, controls for the radio and the display, uh, the information on the um, dashboard. And down here, we've got controls for the cruise control and your electric rear mirror switch and headlight adjuster. Dashboard there shows the mileage at 58,955 miles. As you can see, the engine's running and there's no warning lights on the dashboard whatsoever, um, apart from obviously the yellow light for, for the fuel. All right, coming under the engine bay here, uh, we've got the Tota D4D diesel, very nicely presented engine bay. Uh, it's had a very, very tough engine. They use it in the Aventis and other um, Toyotas. Uh, they do massive mileages with just normal regular maintenance, They're very popular with taxi firms which is a good indication just how tough these things can be. Um, but given the maintenance history of the car and the MOT, we'll uh, give every assurance the car should be a good service. Um, as I said, I've had a couple of these, uh, you know, 50 to the gallon is very, very easy in them. Uh, it's a very smooth drive, very gutsy, even with, you know, six or seven people board and a bit of luggage. And it, it pulls absolutely fine. So coming inside now, we've got the MOT for the vehicle. And as you can see here, there was no advisories whatsoever on the car. Um, we do have a spare key for the car, which we keep in an envelope in the uh, deal file to prevent getting lost. And the service history, we've got one, two, three, four, five services. One is seven, 13, 20, 31, 43. 51 a Toyota and then by ourselves just under 58,955 miles.